Hey, Scotch Test Dummies here. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. We got a Paul John whiskey called Kanye. Ooh, and somebody poured themselves a little sample, but won't even let me nose it. Let's test it. Test it! Goa style. Indian whiskey style. Ooh. All right. All right, we're back in. Sorry, we did the island out, island out. Go. First of all, I love the box. You got a little label thing here. You got a little seal. Woo. Yep. I got uh, it very nice, very nice. Now, this bottle was sent to us. Yes. They had sent us, Paul John had actually sent us um, a couple. Yeah, they're down there. Uh, I can't remember. The Classic and the Peated. Yep, right there. Select. Select cast. That's what those were. Boom. So they'd reached out. They said, hey, do you mind if we send you a bottle of Kanye? We do not mind. Let's, let's try it out. That's right. Scotch God shout out. Pinch myself. Go back to one of our old granddad videos, which mm. is the grumpy old test dummies making. Right, that's us in, the, in like 2035. That's, 2040 that was us. Maybe. I thought well, that was a. Uh, it's a future look. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, to the point, <laughs> like spelled out T W O to the point. But it's all point. caps, like he's yelling at you. It's like, to the well, point! Yeah. Like that. That's how it is. Uh, he comments, he says, the thought of punching either of you has not crossed my mind until this video. What? <laughs> so right really? up until that video. Yeah, and I go, this this video is the one that did it? <laughs> <laughs> so he replied, LOL. Oh, that's good. Yep. Yeah, there's been so many. I'm surprised. Like the, uh, the Lafroig family shootout. I've made a lot of people, and you, Matt, in that one. Yeah. People were saying it was over the top. Mm -hmm. But was I truly excited in that? You one? were, yeah, ex yeah. Excitement was, yeah, got the best of you. That was real. I was all like, "Woo!" woo a lot of that going <clears> on. <throat> so yeah, go back and check out the Lafroy family shootout. That'll probably make you. All right, what's some of the info on this? Because I know nothing, and you haven't even let me pre-sample anything. You know, of course, how much research have we done? Zero. It's all about the this, juice in a bottle. This literally got here, I think, last Saturday. I right. cracked it open and tried it. It's bottled at 50%. It's one. It's got a couple of stickers on here. The Spirits <laughs> Business stickers. Silver Award of 2017. It's got a real small um, gold text. It won the Best Asian Whiskey 2018 in the Whiskey Bible, okay. rated a 96. Very nice. Um, and I think I believe the only put thing they have for information on casks is... I couldn't read it. Hogsheads, I think I believe it said matured for seven years, mm. which is long I time. Yeah, and they're in a little bit warmer climate. in India. Yeah, mm -hmm. in first fill American white oak casks. Wow. Okay. So should have a lot of like caramels and and vanillas. Yeah, ideally. Now the I'll, I'll preempt it a little bit. Okay. I just I get notes of sherry, just a very slight sherry, but it says first fill. Really. American oak. So yeah. Which, yeah, and you wouldn't let me even. Like I went to like grab some of yours and you're like, nope, nope. nope. Mm -mm. Just wait till the review. Yeah, it was you like almost slapped kid. my hand. Yeah, it was almost oh, like a hand slap. 601. Oh yeah, what do we got here? It was 602. We are back. These are cask Ooh. four. They're brand new. We had to, we gave the pre-orders a month. Mm -hmm. If you haven't if you haven't pre-ordered yours, you better do it quick because they're gonna be it's going up for sale. The, the, if you've got running. number 51 through 500. Yes, this is the Spartan helmet. It's got a, a few little uh, like secret things on it. Oh. I don't know fair. if it's secret, but Subtle. Now I'll tell you too. It says in the notes that this is unpeated, and I get a hint of a smoke, and it probably just from the barrel charred. Really? See, I'm not getting any on any the palate. Okay. I was gonna say I definitely get no. a butterscotch, a caramel, honeyed. Yep. A little honeycomb. Spicy. Uh, Kitchen yeah. spice. Yeah, not yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's not like a hot spice or anything. And then All I spice. get the oak. Yeah. But I get a lot of honey, a lot of honey, vanilla, which I really would expect with it being the, the virgin oak barrel. You said white oak, right? Yes. Seven huh. years in American white oak. Now on the box it said first fill. American. Mm. On the, I'm looking on the website right here. It does not say first fill on the website. Matured for seven oh, years. Oh, so it's not virgin. Well, that's what it says. That's what it says on the box. Oh, okay. Now we're... Ooh. No, it says first fill. Got it. First fill. On the website, it does not say first fill. Got it. Okay. All right. So scratch off my virgin oak thing if I see No, your little head shake right there is why I didn't want you to taste it beforehand because that's the same thing I did when I cracked the bottle and tried it. Got it. <laughs> you just knew that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. You were like, well, don't. Yeah, I reached for it. You're like, no, don't. Hmm. When I opened this at home, the first sip I took, I was like, holy cow. Yeah. 
I'm gonna have to look this up. I thought um, this was kind of along the lines of right. the select casks. It isn't. No. No. Bourbonish influence. But do, um, what do you think about caramels. now? You, you've only taken the one little sip. Right. Um, I haven't added water yet. Let me know if you get a slight sherry <laughs> note. I do. I still do. Very, very slight. It's got to just be spicing us from the wood if it's first fill. White oak casks. Hmm. It's buttery, creamy. Yeah. Great mouthfeel at 50%. I've got to do a little water. Yeah, the 50%, I get a little, little of that ABV sting on the tongue, too. I was trying to get it further back in the palate. A lot of maltiness. I get I 100% with that. Mm -hmm. I was going to say there's a little maltiness mid palate. Um, that honey really stands out. Um, even with the suggestion of the sherry, I am not picking up sherry, but okay. that's just me. Yeah. Now, I hadn't added water yet. Oh, I haven't either. Now, when you say sherry, you mean when it yeah. goes to that sweet, slightly sour twinge? Is that what you're, or, or more like no. a raisin? No, I, I, um, I'm just saying it just feels a, a, a light sherry. It could be PX. It could be Oloroso. Okay. Um, definitely not. It's not heavy. It's not enough influence that I could pick it up. It just feels like there's a okay. very slight sherry finish. But apparently there isn't. <laughs> it's not just, you know, bourbon no -so. It's not just caramel. And right, cinnamon. Right, and it's There's, it's not super sweet either. Even though I'm saying caramel, it's not like a a, a, a super sweet caramel. I, I get a lot of the maltiness and the oak on the forefront and the mid palate. Burnt marshmallow. Okay. Off of a campfire. Yeah, on the finish. Yeah. Because I get that marshmallowy mm -hmm. wood fire yeah. finish that kind of lingers. Definitely that marshmallow sweetness. That's a good call. When I was tasting it, I thought it was a light peatiness. It says it's unpeated. It must be just a little bit of char from the barrel. Hmm. Seven years yeah. in first fill American oak is yeah. in the Indian heat. Hmm. We need to go there. I've never been to go <laughs> I don't know how hot go hmm. is. I know it's at the foot or the toe of the Himalayas. Okay, a, a good drop of water in there. Doesn't really feel any different. They're still... Well, a little bit more of that char is still carrying through onto the end. A little bit of that campfire smoke. I'm going to take it down even more because I'm still getting a lot of that ABV alcohol spark on mm -hmm. the front of my tongue. The uh, For me, the most pleasant thing about this bottle so far is that long lingering finish. It's the marshmallow, like you said, I get a little honeycomb on the front. Mm -hmm. The wood oak sits in there, subtle flavors of, of the malt. Hmm. Hold on, I even wanna that tongue's still sitting spicy here. Mm -hmm. A lot of cinnamon, nutmeg, mm. butterscotch. Yeah, the 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 finish here is still lingering. Mm -hmm. Enough that I felt like, hey, let me let me see if I can wash some of it away to get some of the lighter notes. It's got a long finish on it. It's not a strong carrying through, but it just stays kind of subtle on the finish for like a minute or so. I was just looking, their, their, their notes on the website for the finish, it says warm spices suffuse the toasted oak and the slightest of saltiness ensures the friendliness of finishes. Wow, I do not get any saltiness. No, I don't really get any saltiness either, but I do get the toasted oak. Mm -hmm. um, the maltiness, and when you, know, you said have... marshmallow, it's kind of like when you've got a little bit of a burnt marshmallow with mm -hmm. a little bit of that charcoaliness on it. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, it's stuck on the wood stick. There you go. Peel it off. Boom, yeah, because I don't like putting a real charcoal -y one as a s'more, so I'll usually just be like, oh, I'll just eat that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I won't put it between the cracker and mm -hmm. the chocolate because I don't want that burntness in there. I just want it. So when I, I'll sometimes eat those, and that is, that was a good call. This is definitely that sugary sweetness. Like I that. still get, it's probably just from the spiciness, just what just really feels like a slight hint of a sherry finish. Mm -hmm. Just some some sweeter fruits, richer, darker. I mean, I can't tell you it's the raisin. I can't tell you it's a yeah plum. That's probably the extent of my strength is when I've got those real fruity dark raisin fruits or the plums or the prune, or 
sometimes on those sherry ones I'll get the little hints of the sweet but a little sour at the same time. That's what I'll get with a Oloroso sherry sometimes. I think it almost feels more blackberry-ish, more raspberry You know what, almost at the very end, I can mm -hmm. see when you said blackberry, I can pick yeah. up a little bit of that. Which could, which is almost more of a port type finish sometimes, but. Yeah. You, it can be either Again, yeah, it's all in the finish fx, form, you know. Yeah. The finish is, is fabulous. Fabulous. Sing song voice. Yeah, fabulous. Yeah, mm. I dig the finish here. Mm. That's good. It is. It is really good. All right, we got a traveling dummy. We got to score it? Oh, yeah. Sorry. What am I thinking? <laughs> whoop, whoop. We got to score. Hold on. I've got my number in my head. Yeah, if you I've want got my ears 90. Out Boom, blurt. The 90, the high ABV is nice. The great, great long finish is, is that honey sweetness and that marshmallow. Perfect. What are you doing? What? Oh, oh it miswrote. Yeah. You did something and it didn't do anything. Never seen it fail like that. I'm going with a 93 on it. Yeah. I really dig good. it. When I, when I first cracked this and tried it, I was like, oh my, there's uh, this is something different and special. Really? Right from the first crack? Oh, yeah. It didn't need to open up? Mm. It was just like this. Yeah. Yeah, it's great like this. Yeah. Um, now here's what got me as well, $260, $280 depending on where you find it really? online. Yeah. I, I didn't know it was that much. I know. Uh, I, mean, I think it's awesome. worth it. I mean, when you get down into the palette of it, the palette of it, there's a t-shirt. The palette of it. I was blown away. I mean, like I say, immediately on the first sip, I thought, this is special. This is different, whatever this is. And I had to look it up. And I didn't know till then. And we usually don't it look was. it up. No. I'm with you. You're not drawn to look up. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking the others were, I believe, $90, 90 to $100, I think, on the others. And that's what, you know, I, I hadn't researched this. I hadn't looked it up. I didn't know. And I'm kind of expecting the same hit. And I'm thinking that. But I'm literally, as soon as I taste it, I'm like, okay, this is not the standard the Paul John Select releases. Something. Cut above. This is a cut above. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. I did not think it was going to be that expensive, though. Yeah. Um, but but I'll be honest with you. I don't. We don't really see. Have we? Have we gotten any? I think we did get some Paul Johns into the store, didn't we? Mm -hmm. None. Not in our area. Okay. Because no. I was trying to think what I've seen on the shelf. Um, you know what? Well, Plaza might have one or two. Okay. I nope, that's I the Om Roots. The Om Root, like well, the Om Root Pita, those, the yeah. Om Root Single Malt. Right. Those should, I have not seen any Paul Johns here. Got it. Okay. Got it. Um, yeah, it's quality. It's yeah. good. Finish, finish for me is definitely where it's at. Uh, that, that lingering one minute plus finish with the different sweet flavors that roll in. And it could have been somewhat suggestion, but when you said blackberry, I'm talking a minute mm. out. I was like, oh, because I do get that. Mm. But it's almost, it's, it's going to sound weird. It's almost like a there was a blackberry soda. I can't even remember where it was from, but it kind of had that same aftertaste. That's weird because it wasn't as sweet, obviously. But it's, when you said that, I was like, hmm. Probably Walmart. Didn't <laughs> do a lot of shopping at Walmart. Well, when I was a kid, we had a lot of just. Uh, remember when they had the generic brand, and it literally would say yeah. cola. Yeah. And it was it was like white, wasn't it? White with black, and it just said cola. I think. Yeah. And then they would have like oh, lemon yeah. lime, and then it was instead yeah. of Sprite or whatever. And yeah, we got a lot of that as a kid. We were doing generic stuff all the time, and I'm sure they had like a black berry or something. That was probably when it was crazy. We're like, woo! Mom spent 29 cents on the Blackberry. If I spent 260 on this and I got it home and cracked it, I don't think I, I wouldn't be disappointed at all in it. I think it Not definitely disappointed meets at all. expectations. No. no. Um, yeah. I will be honest with you. I would, at 260, I would want to see a review or probably of, have sampled it mm. at, a, at a whiskey bar or something. And it would hold up to that. But you know, I get a little bit like, ooh, that's pricey. Yeah. That's good. It that's is. Good. Yeah. What is our traveling... Well, and thank you to Paul John oh, for yeah. sending this yeah. to us. Like I said, we always but have I also our own think, editorial control. Yeah. I think this, I is, this was limited, though, as well. Okay. And maybe that's... I don't. Maybe it wasn't 260 at first. Maybe that's what it's going for now because there's only a little bit of it left. Got it. 
and it's I don't believe it's a normal uh, core range release. But we don't get their releases here in Kansas, so no. we don't we don't really see a lot of them. <clears throat> traveling dummy. Mm. V Rich. So oh, V Rich Center. Yep. Mm. Yep. That's V Rich. I thought uh, somebody else said it. One of our cask four coins with the blue in front of the Blue Angels. Love it. Now what? Where are they? Are, are they in like Pensacola? Uh, yeah, I think or? it was Pensacola. Okay, yeah. I think they're based out of Pensacola. I could be wrong. Uh, that? Yeah, that's a different plan. Uh, the wife and I are at Pensacola Beach, Woo! Florida, on vacation, and oh, went to the Navy man. base yep. to watch the Blue Angels and go to the museum. Bam! Ooh, that is an so. Intruder Two. That's a different plane right there, and that's an Intruder Two, mm -hmm. I believe. Does it say what the other plane is? No. Dang! That's I think it. I'm right. I think I'm right. So that's the jet intake right there. <laughs> yeah, it's got this yard. Show both photos. It's got the nine one one on. You got these like videos. That. So give me those. Send those to me. <laughs> that is great. I love the Blue Angels. Those are F eighteens. Uh, the newer F eighteens. And then what looks like an Intruder two. Sent. Bam. Got it. Um, Patreon shout outs. Ooh, we definitely need to do it. And we got to yell them. And nobody's asleep this time, so we can do the two and the three dollar yells. Well, we don't have. Well, here's okay. Three dollar right. Patreon supporters, we give you the option of putting yes. a picture in a video. Right, you got to get it, get it to us, Scotch Test Dummies at Gmail. And generally, what happens? We're gonna we're gonna do the shout out to get them out of the way instead of waiting for a picture. Mm -hmm. So you might get two if you say, "Hey, here's yeah. a picture." You send it to us. We'll put it yeah. in another you could episode. Game the system. Yep, that's right. You could game it. Now you got to be clothed. Rick, Rick Haskrew. Woo! $2 supporter. Are you ready? Right. You ready? I'm about ready to yell at that. Rick Haskrew! Actually, you got to be careful with that name. Could be uh, Haskrew. Haskrew? Yeah. Haskrew. So, uh, Scooby-Doo could say that. <laughs> ah, Haskrew? Yeah. Haskrew. Haskrew. Yeah, but I think you're right. It's Haskrew. I think so. K. Crew. Um... Now, this is going back. We're still getting caught up. We right. had a lot come in. Tons. He was actually uh, mid-August, Rick came on. So, thank yep. you, Rick. Yep. We were traveling and a lot. We uh, took us a while. We had to get caught up. I got to make a note he, here. He, we keep up the notes. Yep. You're seeing that right now. He's typing. <laughs> oh, uh, look at this. A $5 Ooh, support. Yeah. Rios. He's over. So, uh, and we're creating some new levels because some people are creating higher levels than what we have. Mm -hmm. So I'm still working on that slowly, and we're going to have some other little things on there. Yeah. So, sorry. Rios, Rios Lara, 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 like Lara, 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 Lara Croft. Rios. There's no Croft there. Sorry, Rios. Woo, $5. You Look betcha. at that. Rios. I like that. I think since we had a $2 and a $5, that's good for this episode. Oh, you don't want to drop one more? We could overachieve. Um, well, we're shooting another video. That's a good point. So we That's good point. We'll save it. <laughs> There's someone out there like they haven't done my name yet. Uh, go to scotchtestdummies.com. Check out some of our merchandise. It all helps support the show. Glasses. We got t-shirts, coins, glasses, hats, Ooh, brand new stickers. shot glasses. Shot glasses. They don't really glasses. look like shot glasses. They look like small sample glasses. Yeah. What did you do? That? You just blew a burp. Yep. That was good. First of all, it's quiet. Yep. You didn't make it all you were crazy talking. and loud. Usually you wouldn't care. Blah, 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 Six oh one. We all look crazy. Support us on Patreon. <laughs> Six oh two. Scotch it, you Scotch gobs. Salonja, dummies. dummies.